hello guys welcome to yet another pseudo code section section zero aka the chief now i have gotten a lot of demands on on this um section okay now the session is talking about calculating the square of sum of a given input for instance if the given input is one two two three four five six now we were told to calculate the sum of the square so this is how the program will work the program will square it each one of these numbers each one of these numbers is going to be squared and then the result of the square is going to is, uh, we are going to sum them together okay so that is just what that is saying now let's start our pseudo code on that now as usual we start off by starting our application start application let me change okay now the next one is get users imputes okay for example if the user entered one two three four five six okay so get users imputes now we are going to we are going to declare a variable or a container then we uh, we call them sum we call them rim and whatever what else are we going to call the third one okay let's just leave the third one as it is okay now the next step is we we are going to check you know some sometimes users are not are not trustworthy for example if you were if a user entered something like just one okay so there is no how um okay yeah you can it can actually uh, get the sum okay of 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 the uh, the square of sum of square of this one okay which is going to be one okay one times one is one plus zero which is one okay so it's going to get it but we want a digit like more than one more than one digit like two digits or three digits or five digits or seven digits so that is what we want so we want to put a condition here that says um this input should be more than one digit so it's going it can be two it can be three it can be four it can be five but before that let's save the number that the user entered so we save it ahead the third the third um, variable the container will be input inputs now save user or users input let me color them so that they will stand out these are the inputs so okay so the fifth one is you have to validate this input this particular one that may have this or just zero if the user type zero you see you can't find the square of zero okay so we need to validate all those things now you now say if if input let me call it if input is is less than if input dot length or if length of input let me do like if length of input is less than true or length of input is equal to zero is equal to zero why did i do this 
equal to zero okay um the program should definitely end the program should definitely end or you may tell the user print input or enter another number another number okay so uh, it will be it will direct the person to return it will direct the person to step two return to step two okay so this happens when the user entered a, a number that the length is less than two okay let's just leave this guy out let's not make our code more complicated um, we have five okay we have six oh, how am i going to do this now okay so if the length if the length of input is less than two okay print enter another number then you to return the person to step two now else else meaning uh, the number is the, the length of numbers is greater than two do you get is greater than one i mean to say is greater than two is greater than one what which means it is two three four five okay else go to step eight so step step eight is this now let's come back to the main purpose of this um, um algorithm you know, is we are going to calculate the sum of square so if the number is greater than two if the length of number is greater than two then it is valid that means we will enter into our while loop okay let me just say loop loop true loop through the numbers the numbers so when you loop through the numbers then you divide and get the remainder get the remainder remainder get the remainder which is by get the remainder by 10 which is okay I, I will explain this later on okay remainder uh, what, what am i even writing so remainder okay remain or reminder is this okay you guys should just correct this boy is remainder okay get the remainder by 10 okay now um this is going to be um then if you get the remainder by 10 you will now square square the remainder the remain the remainder then you now square the remainder by uh, by by itself by itself by itself okay when you square the remainder by itself then you will now add it add it to sum to sum so um the number so uh, 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 so this is rem rem by this then rem this i will i will still explain this one more time now when you add it to sum then it will now loop it, it will loop back it will, it will loop back to it will still go back to the loop this is where the start the starting of the loop is now we now check if if the loop if the loop is out is out of numbers stop looping then when you stop looping the next one is you now um 
print out the sum print the sum okay and when you print the sum then you now stop stop program you now stop program okay that is how to to do that